So today we're back in the shop after cleaning most of these castings down. Um, I'm going to deburr them a little bit with my file and I'm going to start scraping away any loose paint and apparently there was a lot of loose paint. This looks like it's either been repainted or the original paint is coming off. Um, I'm not sure but I will be just scraping this down as best as I can. I'm going to go over it with scotch bright. I'm not going to go down to bare metal. I do uh, want to give it a new coat of paint. It will be gray this time around. I'm not I'm not going nuts with this, it's just gray. But before we get to that, we have some business to take care of. So Rusty Knox, who I've been uh, following on YouTube for a little while, link in the description, uh, sent me his sticker file, and uh, his stickers actually. And I decided to actually 3D print one of his uh, stickers. This is what it looks like. Yes, it's monochrome. I'm not. I don't have a printer that does uh, multiple colors. But this is it. So time to mount these. So, Rusty Knox, I don't have a cheap door, but I do have a cheap piece of plywood bolted to the wall with some paint on it. And I'm gonna. Stick your sticker here right next to my Zenith King of Radio emblem. And I'm also going to stick your 3D printed emblem. right underneath it you're in good company right next to Steve Summers amateur redneck work shark shark river machine the previous owner seems to have uh, gouged some lines here and he had some sort of fitting in here that was half a plug to allow some of the oil or whatever to drip through and this doesn't seem to be a factory thread it's a quarter inch um, national pipe thread in here so I bought a piece of uh, brass um, fitting and what it does is it actually gives me um, a place that I can put a piece of pipe in here so this way I can actually drain the stuff down. I could close this up and put a plug in there um, however I actually kinda like that so I'm gonna keep that option. The only thing that I don't like is these lines that the previous owner seems to have gouged in this thing and that's just asking for trouble. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some of this. Uh, this is basically uh, glazing putty and uh, I just want to do a little bit of body work. I'm not, again, this is not a machine that I'm looking to. Oh, what do you know? This thing seems to be ancient. Oh. Um, I'm not looking to turn this machine into a car finish here. I just want to. close these lines up so the uh, crap doesn't get stuck in there when I give it a new paint job this will not uh, well basically the putty will be covered Thank you. 
sealing up a can of paint it's nice to be able to seal the can without deforming it but these seals once you get paint in them they're not the best so what I do is I take my old glove and I stretch it over paint condoms 